Today I want to talk about the Pyra training video number two. So it's been a couple of days since I first started my Pyra training and training my fish to eat dead foods. Um, zero success. This is on week two. He's getting kind of skinny and I'm getting a little bit worried. But I did pick up a handful of feeder fish that I'm currently quarantining right now in my 10 gallon tank in the house. Uh, there's just a bunch of rosy red minnows and the reason why I use rosy red minnows is because some of them are bright and pinkish whitish color which is the same color as tilapia. I wanted him to get used to eating minnows and certain things that are the same color as tilapia. If I were to feed him feeder goldfish I would have to feed certain things that are the same color as the goldfish which is not really helpful in this case. So in this case I'm using rosy red minnows and particularly the white ones. When it gets to three weeks and this fish has not eaten yet, then I'll go ahead and resort to using the minnows. I'm currently quarantining them with um, Prozzi Pro and also treating them for ick by increasing the temperature a little bit higher in that 10 gallon tank. Also doing consistent water changes in that 10 gallon just to make sure those fish are healthy. Let me go ahead and roll some clips of the changes we've made in the garage tank with the pyre in it. Um, certain things that I've added to the tank just to make him feel more comfortable and um, yeah let's go ahead and check it out so as you guys can see here we have the tank a uh, little thing has been updated little things has been changed I added black sand back into the tank I wanted that dark look and uh, I always thought my bikers looked better with uh, dark substrate but on the left side you can see that I have a new fish in there that is the pink tail Chelsius I'll go ahead and roll a little bit of footage of the Paintail Chelsea's close up. Um, the reason why I added this fish is in the past for my old Pyra, I used a teacher fish, which was a huge at agar. Um, it was a very aggressive eater, and this initially taught my Pyra how to eat dead foods. So I've always wanted to use another teacher fish, but I just didn't know what I wanted to keep with the Pyra. Um, wanted to keep that red tail theme going on so I went ahead and picked up a pink tail Chelsius um, also known as a red tail Chelsius but they do have red tails and my red tail Pyra also has a red tail I kind of wanted the same theme going on with these two fish um, so that's why I picked this one up and also the pink tail Chelsius has iridescent scales kind of like those holographic collector cards like those rare Pokemon cards um, they have that nice shine to their scales Alright, so here's some footage of the training that I did today with the Pyra. Um, not too sure if you guys noticed, but there's a piece of driftwood hanging from the top of the aquarium. I zip tied this to the top center brace of the aquarium just so I can give the Pyra a place to hide instead of just kind of hanging out in the corner all day. Um, when I initially got this Pyra, it was hiding in the corner all day and wouldn't come out for anything. Um, food had to be brought towards that area but there's no current in that area so it was very hard for me to mimic feeder fish in the corners especially getting the fishing line that I'm using to that specific side of the tank um, I've read that they like cover like floating plants but this would be impossible for me just because I have an overflow any kind of floating plants would have been caught in the sump or would have clogged my um, my overflow and that would be an issue so I went ahead and tied this piece of driftwood and yeah it seems to like it and it's seeking refuge inside that piece um, this is really good because I guess it's a little bit more comfortable also with the addition of darker substrate I believe the fish are very comfortable now um, these fish seem to like dark areas so the dark substrate, the cover up top uh, seem to be really good for these fish. Uh, as you can see at the bottom, my bikers are coming out now. Uh, before, they were just hiding in the corners as well. And everyone seems to be happy now. Um, what I'm using is I'm using a fishing wire. A uh, fishing wire tied to a piece of bamboo and a piece of uh, wood skewer. It's like a skewer stick for people that barbecue. And basically tying a piece of fishing line to it and basically going fishing inside my tank. I'm moving the bait up and down in a fast motion just to mimic a live feeder. 
this is what I've been told to do, and I've done this to my predators in the past, and this usually works. But this guy is a stubborn little bitch. So, yeah, as you as you can see, the the Paintail Chelsea is getting a little excited there. Um, the goal is to get the Pyre to eat, but the bigger goal is to get the Paintail Chelsea to strike that food. Um, just waiting for the footage of the Paintail taking the food. I need the Paintail to take the food in front of the Pyra's face to let the Pyra know that, hey, this is food, go ahead and eat it. Um, in the process of this, I've actually got my Chelsius, my Paintail Chelsius, to eat off of the string along with one of my bikers as well. This is really good. This lets the Pyra know that, hey, this is food, come eat this shit. But um, you're still being kind of stubborn uh, in a sense the pyra didn't show any kind of interest in the food but um the other fish did which is good over time the pyra will see the other fish eating and this will hopefully trigger him to eat as well while i'm doing this i'm also in the process of water changes um, keeping the water clean so once the food hits the water um you'll be able to sense it so yeah, the Pinto Chelsea is getting really, really excited over the food, staring at it, darting all over the tank, and um, Pyra just just doesn't give a shit. Also, with the piece of wood in the middle of the tank and the Pyra being out here instead of in the corner, it made training a lot easier just because in the middle of the tank there's a lot of flow. Uh, this would push the bait back and forth um, and hopefully, you know, excite the Pyra to eat eventually. So here's a footage of the Pinto Chelsea actually doing its job as a teacher fish. Uh, it striked the food right in front of the pyro's face and actually ripped it in half. Uh, he didn't take the whole thing. He just kind of um, ripped it in half right in front of his face, which is good. Uh, shows the aggression. I'm glad that the Pinto Chelsea is actually eating whatever I'm offering. And what's even better is one of the bikers came up and actually ate the rest of it or tried to but uh it kind of got stuck on the line and had to yank it out of his mouth this is actually good because the pyra saw it um the teacher fish did its job and the biker actually did his job too i didn't expect the biker to eat it but hey two fish eating it is better than no fish eating it so this training was good um hopefully the pyra starts eating whatever I offer it soon. Uh, I expect one more week and the pyro will start eating. And if not, I'm going to resort to those feeders. Um, yeah, I guess stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Next video, hopefully, hopefully, is the pyro taking the tilapia pieces off of this fishing line. And uh, yeah, once this pyro starts taking whatever I offer it, feeding, there'll be all kinds of feeding videos and yeah this should be a lot more fun and there should be a lot more exciting content to post uh, i know with my previous scum uh, i was feeding it all kinds of crazy stuff and it was super super aggressive and that's just a scum uh, this is a tattoonia it should be a lot more aggressive compared to it i'd like to thank you guys for watching um hopefully the next video is the pirate taking the bait off of the line and then after that taking bait when i throw it into the tank and maybe we'll even get a chance to offer different types of foods. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully this training series ends fairly soon um, and the pyro takes the food. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.